The white-tailed deer, Odocoileus virginianus, also known as the white-tail, or Virginia deer, is a species of artiodactyl mammal within the Cervidae family. Virginia deers are native to North, Central, and South America as far south as Peru and Bolivia. White-tailed deer are generalists and can adapt to a wide variety of habitats. Although most often thought of as forest animals, white-tailed deer can equally adapt themselves to life in the more open prairie, savanna woodlands, and sage communities, as in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. The white-tailed deer is highly variable in size. Generally larger the farther away from the equator. North American male deers, also known as bucks, usually weigh 68 to 136 kilograms, 150 to 300 pounds, but mature bucks over 180 kilograms, 400 pounds, have been recorded in the northernmost reaches of their native range, namely Minnesota, Ontario, and Manitoba. Females, also known as does, usually weigh from 40 to 90 kilograms, 90 to 200 pounds. Length ranges from 95 to 220 centimeters, 37 to 87 inches, and the shoulder height is 53 to 120 centimeters, 21 to 47 inches. The deer's coat is reddish brown in the spring and summer and turns to a gray brown throughout the fall and winter. These can be recognized by the characteristic white underside of its tail. An indication of a deer's age is the length of the snout and the color of the coat. The older the deer, the longer the snout and the grayer the coat. Whitetails not only process visual images at a much more rapid rate than humans, but are better at detecting motion in low-light conditions. However, deers have dichromatic vision with blue and yellow primaries. Compared to humans that normally have trichromatic vision. Thus, deer poorly distinguish the oranges and reds. Antlers begin to grow in late spring covered with a highly vascularized tissue known as velvet. Bucks either have a typical or atypical antler arrangement. Typical antlers are symmetrical and the points grow straight up off the main beam. Atypical antlers are asymmetrical and the points may project at any angle from the main beam. Bucks without branching antlers are often termed spikahorn or spiked bucks. About 1 in 10,000 females also has antlers. Although antler size typically increases with age, it is not a good indicator of buck age, because antler development is influenced by nutrition, age, and genetics. Bucks shed their antlers when all females have been bred, from late December to February, regrowing in late spring. Males compete for the opportunity of breeding females. Sparring among males determines a dominance hierarchy. Bucks attempt to copulate with as many females as possible, losing physical condition, since they rarely eat or rest during the rut. Females enter estrus, colloquially called the rut, in autumn, normally in late October or early November, triggered mainly by the declining photoperiod. The average age of sexual maturity, both in does and bucks, is about 18 months. Females give birth to one to three spotted young, known as fawns, in mid to late spring, generally in May or June. Fawns lose their spots during the first summer and weigh from 44 to 77 pounds, 20 to 35 kilograms, by the first winter. For the first four weeks, fawns are hidden in vegetation by their mothers. This strategy keeps scent levels low to avoid predators. After about a month, the fawns are able to follow their mothers on foraging trips. They are usually weaned after 8 to 10 weeks. While males leave their mothers after a year, females leave after two. White-tailed deers eat large amounts of food, ingesting around 2,000 pounds, 910 kilograms of vegetable matter annually. They commonly feed on legumes and forage on other plants, including shoots, leaves, cacti, prairie forbs, and grasses. They also eat acorns, fruit, and corn. Since white-tailed deers are ruminants, which means they have a four-chambered stomach, these allow them to eat some foods that can be toxic to humans, such as mushrooms and poison ivy. There are several natural predators of white-tailed deer, with wolves, grizzly and American black bears, cougars, American alligators, and jaguars being the most effective natural predators. These predators frequently pick out easily caught young or infirm deer, 
which is believed to improve the genetic stock of a population, but can and do take healthy adults of any size. Bobcats, Canada lynxes, wolverines, and packs of coyotes usually prey mainly on fawns. Many scavengers rely on deer as carrion, including New World vultures, raptors, red and gray foxes, and corvids. Occasionally, both golden and bald eagles may capture deer fawns with their claws. White-tailed deer typically respond to the presence of potential predators by breathing very heavily, also called blowing, and fleeing. When they blow, the sound alerts other deer in the area. As they run, the flash of their white tails warns other deer. White-tailed deer can run faster than their predators and have been recorded at speeds of 47 miles 76 kilometers per hour. This ranks them amongst the fastest of all deer, alongside the Eurasian roe deer. They can also jump 9 feet, 2.7 meters high and up to 30 feet, 9.1 meters forward. If the deer feels extremely threatened, it may choose to attack, charging the predator using its antlers or its head. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.